What's up everyone, it's Marco from PhoneDog.com and this morning was a great morning for anyone who's a Google fan, an HTC fan, or a Motorola fan because, well, the Nexus 6, the Nexus 9, the Nexus Player, and Android 5.0 Lollipop were all announced and this is the video for you guys to hear all about it. So let me start out by talking about Android L and the new version of Android called 5.0 Lollipop. So basically the same Android L developer preview that was debuted at Google I.O. last June is the same version of Android that you'll be getting very soon because today 5.0 was named Lollipop. It's currently available for the public to download. OEMs are probably already downloading that sucker and making their phone work with it. So you're gonna see OEMs download that stuff and update your phones with Android 5.0 Lollipop very soon. So let's start out with the big announcement of the brand new Nexus 6. Basically, it's the same thing that we thought it would be. Basically, a Moto X stretched out into a brand new Nexus device. It has a 5.96 inch display, not 5.92, and the resolution is 2560 by 1440, so that 2K Quad HD resolution. And specs is some pretty crazy stuff. So we have a 2.7 gigahertz quad-core Snapdragon 805 chip, three gigabytes of RAM, the Adreno 420 GPU, a 13 megapixel camera of OIS, and you're also gonna be able to buy the Nexus 6 and 32 or 64 gigabyte variants. Now the design is exactly the same of what we found on the brand new Moto X, basically the aluminum magnesium body, and then just some really crazy materials. The Nexus 6 comes in a really deep, dark aqua blue and a white color. I, I think I'm gonna buy the white color because it looks pretty cool. In terms of the size of this phone, it is a monster sized device that has a larger display than the Galaxy Note 4, has a larger display than say the Oppo N1 with a 5.9 inch display. Now in terms of battery size, we have a 3,220 milliamp hour battery. It's exactly the same size as the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. And it really looks like Google and Motorola have something to pick with Samsung because well, if you take a look at the specs of both of those devices, they are basically exactly the same. Other than the screen size difference, it has the same processor unit, same amount of RAM at three gigabytes, the same Adreno chip, the same processor. They are exactly the same, but the big difference obviously is the Nexus 6 will be running Android 5.0 Lollipop. Now, I know a lot of you guys want to hear about the price tag and it is big. It has an unlocked price tag of $649 and that is a lot of money. That is flagship money for a flagship device and rightfully so, but it is very expensive and it feels like Google is marketing this device as a flagship phone and no longer a developer phone. So the Nexus might be dying in terms of the name and it might have a different name in the foreseeable future. The Nexus 6 might be the last Nexus we'll ever see because well, if they're charging six hundred. $149 off contract, then it's going to be called something else. Also, the big news this morning about the Nexus 6 is it's going to be available on AT&T, Verizon, Sprint, T-Mobile, more different carriers in terms of regions like US Cellular. There's going to be some crazy stuff about this phone because it will be subsidized on those carriers, and that is an extreme push for having a very big flagship device from Google actually hitting the mark. The next piece of hardware that came out this morning is the brand new Nexus 9 tablet built by HTC and it has some crazy specs on its own. The screen size is 8.9 inches, the resolution is 2048 by 1536, basically the same resolution as the iPad Air, uh, and it's built out of aluminum on the sides, it has some crazy nice materials, and the coolest part of this tablet is the processor. It has the Tegra K1 processor, it runs a full 64-bit version of Android L, or should I say Android 5.0 Lollipop on this guy, and it has two gigabytes of RAM and a eight megapixel camera on the back. This is going to be an interesting tablet because it is $399 and goes up to $499 and it's going to be an interesting tablet. I really am really looking forward to getting that tablet and using it because the Tegra K1 is a powerful processor. I used it on the Nvidia Shield tablet and it was very, very good. And this is just the more premium Nvidia Shield tablet built by HTC running the same type of processor at 2.3 gigahertz and running Android 5.0 Lollipop. Now the last piece of hardware that came out this morning is called the Nexus Player and it's basically like Google TV. It connects you to the Google Play Store. It has a quad-core processor, an Intel Atom processor on there. It lets you play games, and it basically connects you to all of your Google Play services, so you can watch movies, play applications, stream from your Nexus devices or any Android devices you might have lying around. And it's a really weird, round-looking, kind of like a Kindle Fire that's just rounded on the edges. So it's going to be an interesting product as well to take a look at. And the Nexus Player also has a game controller very similar to the 
Fire TV. So again, this is basically a Fire TV, but just built by Asus and Google. So that's been a quick rundown of all the great things that came out of Google this morning. There's some really exciting stuff coming, and I really want to hear what you guys think about the Nexus 6, the Nexus 9, and even the Nexus Player, because they are very interesting devices, and also Android 5.0 Lollipop, and then when we're going to be expecting that to be hitting all of our devices. Now, in terms of availability, the Nexus 6 will be available for pre-order on October 29th. It will be shipping later in November. The Nexus 9 is going to be available for pre-order on October 17th, and it will be shipping on November 3rd. And the Nexus Player will be available for pre-order on October 17th, but they haven't given a solid release date in terms of when those will ship. My guess is it'll probably be all shipping in terms of the last week of October and the first couple weeks of November. So again, my name is Marco Hanna from PhoneDog.com. Make sure to stay tuned to PhoneDog.com for all your coverage of all the Nexus devices. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And as always, my name is Marco Hanna from PhoneDog.com, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.